Which you guys got another video here for you, an alternative to Windows 11 called Ubuntu. This is the Windows Ubuntu operating system. You can download a free edition here, but they do offer a pro license. So I'm not sure how long the free edition will last. This is the latest LTS version for Ubuntu Cinnamon and also Plasma for desktop PCs and laptops. Now you can see right here, there is some download options available. Windows 11 theme we have, we have the Windows 10 theme, and we also have one a little bit further down called the Linux FS Red Sand 11.4.4 Plasma LTS version, which you can download as well. So choose which one you want to use. I'm going to go with the Windows 11 theme here and uh, show you what it all looks like. Let's go ahead and download this. So Ubuntu is based off of obviously Ubuntu Linux and it is a Linux operating system, aka Windows Ubuntu as they're calling it. So it's a bit of a rip off or a knock off of Windows. You can see this is it right here, what you're looking at. The widgets are right here on the left hand side here. You can change these up to whatever you like. And you can see we also have a weather thing here. So let me click on the weather and you can configure the weather as you would with any other weather application. Just set location and you can choose your appearance uh, units and also your location to get the weather working. Let's go ahead and set this up here. I'm just going to quickly set my location by typing the location in here. I'll just put London inside here and we can choose one of the locations for London here. Now, obviously, London is all over the world. So we're just going to go for London, England here, which is London, London GB and select that. And now the weather app should work perfectly fine, as you can see here. So next up, what we're going to do is take a look at some of the icons down the bottom here. I'm going to click on this one right here and we'll see what this one does. It looks like the Windows uh, store. So I'm just going to click on here and you can see we do have a variety of things we can install here. And you can just click on these and it will install these or open them. Some of them are preloaded with this operating system. So let me go ahead and click on this. And you can see there is a launch right here. I can click on launch and it should launch VLC just like so. There we go. That's done. So there's all that sort of stuff inside here, which you can mess around with. You can change the desktops as well by using your scroll wheel on your mouse, just like I showed you right there. And uh, let me just show you that again. There you go. And uh, also we do have some other icons here. I'm not going to go through all of this stuff, but you get a general idea of the feel of this particular uh, distro that they're offering. Now we do have Microsoft Edge on here, believe it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Of course, we're going to have to go through the configuration uh, process for this. And I'll set this up quickly so we can use Edge and see how that works. There we go. So I'm just going to quickly go through the configuration here. I'm not going to show you all this part because I'm pretty sure you've seen this a million times on Windows. So I'll quickly go ahead and get this set. Now inside the settings of Edge, you can see it looks exactly the same as it would do on Windows. And uh, that's because it is Microsoft Edge. Let's go ahead and open up the next tab here. We're going to go to Explorer here, uh, which is looking like File Explorer. But you can see there is a little slight difference to it because obviously it can't be Windows Explorer because it's not a Windows based system, but it looks exactly like it. They've used uh, some sort of theme pack and icon packs to make it look exactly like Windows 11. Now, this is not the first time that uh, Linux distros have been made to look like a Windows uh, installation, and this is no different with Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and close this off here, and we'll take a closer look at some of the other stuff. You can see we've got a chat here. We've also got virtual desktop, and we can also see we do even have Copilot on here. So I'll open Copilot up so you can see what Copilot looks like. There is Copilot opened up. Now, I'm not sure who they're trying to target this operating system at, whether they're trying to uh, target this at Windows users to try to get them to come over to Ubuntu, i.e. Linux. I'm not too sure whether that's what they're trying to do or whether they're trying to give Windows users a feel of Windows, but it's under Linux. I'm not too sure what they're trying to achieve. But as you can see here in the settings, again, this is not going to be settings. It's Power Toys Control. And again, they've even ripped this off because this is not Microsoft Power Toys. This is another form of Power Toys. And again, you can see this looks very similar to Microsoft's uh, Windows 11 settings panel. 
Now, I'm not sure of the legal side of this uh, to be using this as a sort of Windows 11 look sort of operating system. Whether Microsoft will do anything about it, I really don't know, or whether they'll bother. But again, you can see it does have a look and feel about Windows 11 to it, but it is actually Linux. And you can see this is not activated and they are actually charging for licenses for this as well, which is absolutely insane. And again, Android is supported on here as well. You won't get it working on here because this is on a virtual machine. But you can see here, apparently the CPU virtualization is disabled. If this was on a real machine, you'd be able to run Android uh, applications here as well. Next up, we're going to go in here. We've got OneDrive and you've also got Office on here. And this will work straight out of the box because Wine is pre-configured on here as well to work with certain .executable files and it should work perfectly fine. You've got Notepad here and you can see there is some Info Center and a bunch of other stuff on here as well. This is the system resource right here. And again, it's a, it really is a complete knockoff of Windows 11 and it's called Ubuntu and it's obviously a Ubuntu back end. So there you go. So whether that is going to tempt people to install Ubuntu on their computer, maybe for people that don't have a uh, you know, hardware compatible uh, system for Windows 11, maybe they'll be tempted to use Ubuntu on their actual system. Now you can download and install Windows executable files just as you would on Windows. I'm not sure how accurate this is for all uh, .executable files that you can download off the web, but Audacity, you can see this is based for Windows. And because it has a uh, wine pre-configured here, it should install and it should work. Now I'm not saying it's gonna work for every executable file that you download off the internet, just as you would on Windows, but as a general idea, I'll quickly download Audacity and get this installed here. Let me quickly show you. I'm going to double click on this and you can see the wine configuration window will pop up. It's already pre-configured. So it should install this and it should then allow me to install and open the actual application just as you would on a Windows based system using the wine uh, installer here, as you can see. And you can see it's just going through the uh, installation phase right here and it's saying, please wait. And again, we haven't installed this on the system just yet. I'll quickly show you how easy it is to install this as well just so you know how to install it as well and we can launch the application and there we go that's up and running and working as you can see very simple and easy to do so again i think this is probably designed for people that can't run windows 11 on their old hardware because of the hard hardware system requirements that microsoft have in place for windows 11 uh, but this is probably going to bypass all that and allow you to use it so let's go ahead and get this installed onto this virtual box here and we'll be able to see what it looks like. So all we need to do here is just choose the language, choose your location in the world and go ahead and click next. Choose your keyboard layout. Very, very simple. And uh, we can now click uh, next here and move on to the next section, which is, let's have a look here, click next. And we can erase the disk and install it or you can manually partition your drive out uh, the way you like i'm just going to do a race disk and delete all the data and install it and you can see we're on vmware up the top there so let's go ahead and click install and we can now give this a name and give it a password and that is it and we can now go ahead and click install and it should install this onto the system and it will work perfectly fine just as you will see here now we'll say that if you want to use Windows, then install the official Windows 11. Don't go ahead and download this and use this and then activate it because obviously it is a bit of a ripoff. They are charging for a license, professional license key here as well. So I don't know how long the free license will work for, whether it's got a trial period on it, I really don't know, but it is pretty pricey as you can see here as well. Anyway, I thought it'd be an interesting video just to show you exactly what this is. It's Ubuntu based on uh, Ubuntu. And my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think of this uh, distro and whether you would install it on your system and use it as a daily driver. I'll be interested to read your comments. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.